And I think we're putting a spin on a breakfast classic this morning. Yeah, that's it. Winter is coming. It's getting colder, so porridge is on the menu for breakfast. And we're doing a little spin on it today. We're going to use quinoa instead of the oats. So it's going to give us a little bit of different texture. Um, we've got some beautiful flavours in here, a little bit of brown sugar and some vanilla. Really nice sort of sweetness from the vanilla. And then we're going to counterbalance that sweetness with some rhubarb. And we're just going to roast it really quickly with some orange. And, uh, and then a bit of maple syrup for a little extra treat in the mornings. So stay tuned, come back, and I'll show you all the secrets. Now it's over to Mel. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you're putting a spin on a breakfast classic this morning. That's it. So we're going to do porridge, but yep. we're going to do a little twist. OK, good, because porridge can be quite boring. Well, depends who makes it. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, this is why we're going to make it fancy. OK, so what do we need to start with? Right, so instead of the oats, we're gonna go, uh, we've are going to we got our quinoa here. Yeah. So this is great. It's superfood, uh, gluten-free. Like, it's really fantastic, um, you know, if you're health conscious. Mm-hmm. No, I so, am. Got mm -hmm. some cream in there Can't later. you tell? <laughs> <laughs> OK, right. <laughs> right, so we're going to cook the quinoa. And it's quite fast to cook as well. So about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and this will be done. OK, So nice. we're going to cook it in some water first. Yeah. So just plain water, and we're going to get it cooked. Bring it up to the boil, put a lid on it, and just keep cooking it for about 15 minutes. And then all the water will evaporate, and it will start softening the uh, quinoa. And then we're going to finish it off in a bit of milk, and then start adding some flavours into that. Nice work. OK, so I'll that, keep an eye on that. Let's get the rhubarb underway. Yep. So that could be cooking. So you say it's quite boring. Yeah. I suppose uh, if you just have a bowl of <laughs> porridge, it is very boring. Boring, yes. Um, so we need to add some things to it and add some flavours and right. textures to it. So we've got some rhubarb now. So rhubarb, great. I like love rhubarb. rhubarb. Yes, I do. We used to grow it and gore in the backyard. And just, I used to go out there and just eat it straight from the garden. Oh, it's yeah. great. It's actually poisonous. Yeah. But it's... Um, <laughs> But, well, that's, well, it gives you, you know, it upsets stomach because it's so acidic. But um, it's, if you ever try it, if you just cut it in half, a bit of a raw bit, and then dip it in sugar, and you get that whole sort of real sweet and sour balance. I love okay, that. It's cool. really good. Wish you were around when I was about five. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Add some sugar to it. Right, so there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Um, so you can just get a hot oven, yep. pop it onto a baking sheet, um, and then we're just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of caster sugar because it is quite sour. So you do need a little bit of sugar just to uh, balance that sweetness out. Mm hmm. That'll do. You can always add more. Um, <laughs> but I probably need to, actually, because yeah, it okay. is very, very sour. But it's quite nice as well, because we're going to have this sort of got creamy, milky vanilla. You get the sweetness of the vanilla um, uh, for the porridge. So it's, it's, it's really nice to have that sort of keep it acidic. acidity. I had no idea it was poisonous <laughs> raw. <laughs> well, I did I used to sit out the back there in the garden and just nibble away on it. But you're right, because it's so sour, it used to take me ages to get through a little stick of rhubarb. It's good value oh, yeah. for money. Yeah, I think now and again everything's everything's sort of good for you oh, now and again, yeah. isn't it? No, you're right. Okay, well, I can smell that zest. That's good. So yeah, fresh orange zest as well. So it really brings out the flavour and you know gives it a bit of sweetness as well. I'm gonna put some juice on there. Nice as well. Okay, this is looking good. So that goes on there. So you can either, you know, if you want to make it simple, pop that in a hot oven for about 15, 20 minutes, uh, about 180 degrees, just roast it. Um, all the juices are going to sort of caramelise over there. Or if you want to, you can do it in the pan. Okay. So I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of oil in there, yep. or you could put a knob of butter, and then I'm just going to pop it in the pan and warm it up. Okay. So you've got all the zest in there, the orange juice, it's going to reduce, it's going to start caramelising around. The steam and everything is just going to soften that rhubarb, so just keep it going in there. Mm -hmm. See the quinoa is uh, coming up to the boil now. We're just going to reduce that. We're cooking that down. And then we're going to serve it with some yoghurt. A little bit of yoghurt as well for an extra bit of creaminess and a little bit of sourness in there. And uh, some maple syrup, which is optional. OK, right. Well, this is all coming together nicely. You are right. Fancy porridge. So we'll let this <laughs> simmer away. We'll keep cooking. You can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. We'll come back, have a look at the next stages straight after we catch up with Holly, who is with the Top Twins. Now, though, we're finishing off the porridge. Look, this rhubarb uh, is, is very much softened up fast, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it it's does good. cook really quick. You've just got to be really careful because it's um, it's like raw, 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 and as soon as you turn your back, it's like cooked okay. and goes into a mush. <laughs> so you can sort of see it now. It's starting to break down. Yep. Um, I wouldn't cook it any more than that because you want a little bit of texture in there, sort of have nice. that balance. Okay, and we had um, caster sugar, Orange zest and a little bit of orange juice in this, and that's what we've done in the pan, or you can do it in, memory, the, yeah. in the oven. Yep. All right, so here's the quinoa, so that's about mm -hmm. 15 minutes. All the water's evaporated, it's starting to soften down. It's, yeah. uh, it's still got a little bit of texture in there, but it is softening. Uh, now we can add some milk. Okay. So Yum. back on the heat, add some milk, and that'll get us a you know, base of the sauce there. And then we've got some vanilla. Yeah. So we've got some vanilla essence. My favourite flavour. And this has got the uh, pod still in it, so this is like, you just smell that. Mm. Oh, it's divine. Beautiful. That yeah. is really rich. And there's yeah. a tip for you. 
boring porridge, pop some vanilla in, it's beautiful. Nice. Okay, nice, thank you. Make it nice and exciting. And uh, a little bit of brown sugar oh, as well. Oh, classic, yes. I like so the brown sugar. I'm just going to pop that in there. A little bit. Yeah, it looks, looks quite excessive. <laughs> it's all about balance. The yeah. rhubarb's really, really sour. Okay. Right, and then we're just going to put that back on the heat. Let it sort of, let all the sugar dissolve. Yep. And then just bring it back up and just make sure, you just really got to make sure that quinoa is nice and soft. I tell you what, this is smelling incredible. If you want the recipe, all you need to do is go to thecafe.co.nz. Nice. i right, just bring that up and then we'll give it a taste. Nice. Good. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, he says. <laughs> okay, well, cool. I'm going to say that anyway. Yeah. Well, you try it. Okay, I'll try it. Good. This is good. With the old Kanoa, is it? Kenway. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do that? Mmm. Mmm. I can really taste that vanilla in there. That's oh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, nice. It's so nice. You've got a texture on there. So it's up to you now how, how far you want to cook this down. You know, if you want a firmer um, sort of porridge yep. or you want a sort of a thinner porridge. You know, it's quite nice in the morning just to, uh, you know, not have it too thick and gluggy. Okay, I really want to try this rhubarb too, but so I'll wait until go. it's finished. So I'm going to I'm gonna stop now and serve it like that, you know. Beautiful. So you've still got some substance to it. You can pop a little bit of rhubarb onto that. Okay. And then I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of yoghurt mm -hmm. and some of that maple syrup on top. Okay, nice. How, what, what was your present, what's my presentation style like? <laughs> oh, no, it's... It's that good. Right? Well, yeah, where am I going to put the yoghurt now? On top? <laughs> oh, no, I'd drizzle it around the side. But no, you can do what you want. You're the boss. You're the chef. I just follow your lead. So we'll put some yoghurt on top. Oh, look at this. Fantastic. And then we'll, we'll do the drizzle with this. Maple syrup. <gasps> look at that. Can't wait to get into that. Well, there you go. Nice I mean, work. Yeah, I mean, there it is. That's how, that's how easy and fast it is. And that's a great uh, recipe for the mornings. You know, full of texture, full of flavour and nice and healthy. What is your rhubarb looking like? Is it ready to be served? It is ready. It's well ready. Nice. Bring it you over. Can, you guys can try it now. Nice right work. Up. Okay, and rhubarb from the top twins' great grandfather. Yeah. What a nice tie-in. What are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow on the show, I've got smoky chicken, chorizo, and chickpeas. Oh, yum! That sounds really good. Oh.